So Fitbit has updated their Fitbit 1 to the Fitbit Sense 2, and there is not a huge change between the two, but let me share with you what is definitely changed. So I currently am wearing the Fitbit Sense 2. This is the Inspire 3. And my previous watch was the Fitbit Sense 1. Probably, in my opinion, one of the best smartwatches to ever come out. Why? Because it has really long battery life. With the Fitbit OS, the battery life here was averaging about four to five days, but um, on the box, it says six days. On the Fitbit Sense 2, I've been using it for about three weeks. I'm getting about five days, and that's including that on the box, it says six days. So the new Fitbit is adding a, a physical button that they have on the side, which makes it easier to press. The original Sense came with the EDA, which is the electrical dermal activity, but you had to put your hand on it, cover it to really use the EDA and get your score. Now, the Sense 2 is coming with something called CEDA, or Continuous Electrodermal Activity. What does the CEDA do? Well, it's gonna be able to monitor your stress levels and your body temperature and your heart rate all the time, which is gonna give it a more accurate readout on what's happening with you at the current moment you're looking at it. So if you are on your Fitbit Sense and you wanna see your ECG, you just press that button. I have it on my recent, but you can go to all your apps. Here is your ECG app. Put index finger and thumb on the glass corners. And this is new because before you had to put it on the power controls, now you just put it on the glass corners. So it has given us a readout. It says my normal sinus rhythm. So it appears normal. If you wanna swipe up, swipe up is gonna bring you to your notifications. So I have no new notifications. Here you have your settings. So you have the availability to adjust or turn off the do not disturb here. You have your sleep mode. That's gonna deactivate your notifications. Here's your settings. Settings is where you can adjust your display in terms of your screen wake, your vibration and microphone, your notifications, your goal reminders, and your quiet mode. If you also wanna see the, this is the always on display, we're gonna turn it on. We have our screen wake is on button only, but you can also have it on motion. And you can change your brightness right on the screen there. If you swipe to your left, you'll have your number of steps. So that's how many steps I've taken today. This is how many uh, steps, how many calories I burn, how many floors. This is my resting heart rate and my active heart rate. This is gonna be my sleep levels. This is gonna be my body responses. And this is a timer. So what's an EDA response? Well, it is a electrodermal activity responses are tiny changes in your sweat level of your skin. These changes might be to stress or other factors such as movement, noise, or temperature change. It can detect EDA responses during your quick scan or guided session. This is gonna say the EDA scan is done. And this is very similar to the existing sense, the original. It says, thanks for taking the time. So how are you feeling? I'm feeling calm. So it's gonna give you way to go, one of five days of mindfulness this week. Your EDA response, I was a 17. So I had a 17 response and then it gives you some information. My heart rate was started at 76, 79, and it went to 71. And your baseline is 33 milliseconds, driving is 31. It gives you all this different information here with some tips on how to utilize it. So this is the previous Fitbit Sense. So the difference is if you press the home button here, the home button is just gonna turn off the screen. In my current Fitbit Sense, I have the ability to have certain apps, like I have in my phone, Starbucks, Spotify, Pandora. These are if I wanna control Spotify. And on the new Fitbit, I don't have any of those apps yet. So we're waiting for them to be released on the newest generation of the Fitbit. Things that are no longer with your Fitbit is that it no longer comes with Wi-Fi. It will not come with Google Assistant. There's no music playback here if you're using it with Spotify. So Fitbit will also track your active zone minutes, your steps, your activity levels, your heart rate. My resting heart rate is 66 BPM. Your sleep. It'll give you also give you a sleep score. It's going to give you your body responses and you have a timer along with the weather all built in. And that's something that I really like about the Fitbits. They're super easy to understand and super easy to read. Just by switching up 
how you swipe it and having the physical button just to access your apps instead of the haptic feedback is a it's 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 a lot simpler for me actually to be totally honest. And if I want to just go into exercise, I can go into exercise and just pick which exercise I want to use. I don't even need to press the button. All I need to do is swipe right to left. So the new Sense 2 is coming with a simplified UI. And that UI makes life a lot easier when you're just trying to scroll and find the information you're looking for. So here we have our activity and we have Fitbit Premium, but let me just walk you through the information that's stored on your phone and on your watch. So it's gonna give you your number of steps, number of floors. You can track your mindfulness. It'll give you a stress management score so here it's gonna be able to plan for the day ahead. Your stress management score can help you see how your body responds to stress based on heart rate, sleep, and activity. So identify, then you can turn on your notification. So you can measure your body responses and you can get notifications if you ever have higher stress levels. It also gonna say, well, when the body response is identified, logging your mood is a quick way. So you can either log your mood and you can see your progress over a week. So this is my stress management. So my stress management score right now is 79. And how is that broken down? My responsiveness is 26 out of 30. A higher number means your body shows signs of low ANS activity over the last several days. Exertion balance. A higher number means you're doing well at balancing the benefits of exercise against short-term wear and tear. And you have sleep patterns. A higher number means your current sleep patterns reflect a low level of physical stress. So actually my stress levels are pretty good. But if I wanna just record this and see it over the last few days, you have a weekly summary. Inside of the app, you'll have to use it as a normal Fitbit so you can track your exercises, your health metrics. It will even let you know your skin temperature and how that ranges over a, a period of time. So you can see on a month here, um, we have, our skin temperature has ranged up and down, but pretty consistent, pretty consistent. And it even gives you how much it was at night. If you're sleeping cold, you have your heart rate monitor and the heart rate monitor has been updated. And you can see your heart rate over a period of time right there. And it's gonna give you a reminder. You can set this to give you a reminder when you need to drink water, when you need to eat, when you need to exercise, if you need to take more walks. And that's something cool about the Fitbit. Now, if you go into discover mode, you have a lot of different challenges, apps, and workouts that you can use. Even if, if you wanna use the premium app, the premium app is gonna work out for you. What's up, Running Tribe? This is Coach Wes. And, we are here for your and this is like an audio app that's gonna walk you through the entire exercise. This one so they give you a number of these kind of like apps and programs that you can use inside of the premium of the Fitbit. If you want to do mindfulness, nutrition, it's all there. You even have guided programs that you can sign up for, which I find really easy because you can sign up for a two-week program or a four-week program and just stick to it and your watch and your Fitbit app will do all of the work setting it up self up inside of your schedule. If you want to do assessments, that's great. And you could do your clocks and your apps. So here you have all of your apps. Now the Fitbit is not coming with a ton of apps. This is not coming with the Google Wear OS. So I'm excited to see where Google takes this going forward. But you do have apps that you can pick from here. And you have different clocks, watch head faces that you can select from as well. So you have your different by Fitbit always on displays. You have your active zone minutes because this has an always on display. Something that I also appreciate that you don't get until you get to the newer iWatches or Apple watches. Um, you also can do tiles. So if you want to pick your tiles and you can manage them accordingly just by adding something like a timer tile, that's simple enough. And in premium, you get your daily readiness score. So my readiness score, it optimizes your workout routine with a daily readiness score. The score gauges if you're primed for a challenging workout or need to focus on recovery. So the watch is helping you understand what's going on with yourself. My, I have low readiness. So that means you recently went above and beyond with your activity. Now your body might need rest. And it gives you that chart right there, breaking your readiness over time. And then you could do it over a week. So if you look at a week view, you can see where I had a lot of physical activity and I had less. So it really does help. 
ultimately, who is the Fitbit Sense 2 right for? Well, that's a, that's a more complicated question because the Fitbit Sense 1 was such a good watch on its own. And um, I love my Fitbit Sense 1. I've had this for a year. Is it worth the upgrade from the Fitbit Sense 1 to the 2? I don't think so. I think if you have the 1 already, the 1 is perfect. The battery life is the same. The screen is the same. You, have, you still have your apps. You just don't have that SEDA. You just don't have that SEDA. You don't have Google Pay. So if you want to come to the other side where instead of having a Apple Watch or a Samsung Watch or something that's going to be very high tech with low or short battery life, well, you come to our side, which is going to have longer battery life on a thing like a Fitbit, which has four to five to six days, depending on what your uh, your screen brightness is and how much or how frequently you get notifications. Well, then this is going to be one of the best deals in town because you can get a brand new Fitbit for on sale right now, the same price as the Fitbit Sense last generation. And that's a good deal considering it's only going to cost about $200 if you get it on sale compared to an Apple Watch, which costs $300, upwards $300, uh, $400, even $500. The Samsung watches are also expensive. The new Garmin's are great, but the new Garmin's don't come with this type of integration into the screen here for notifications and things like this. You do get a lot of great features with the Garmin, but it's not going to be the same as the Fitbit in terms of the screen. The Garmin I find is better if you're really doing hardcore exercising or you're doing golf or doing something like active, active running and you want to take your watch and not worry about the screen breaking. But if you're like me and is a mixed use user, the Fitbit Sense is still my favorite watch. And the Fitbit Sense 2 might not be worth the upgrade from the Fitbit Sense 1, but I think when it's on sale, it's still a good deal. So check it out. This is the Fitbit Sense 2. I think this is a really cool watch. I think it's the same as the Fitbit Sense 1. I think the stress levels help, but you got to decide if it helps you. Thanks for watching, everyone. This is David with the French Glow. Hit that subscribe or like button. I'll catch you next time. Bye, bye, bye.